Well, tonight we're taking a look at some of the desperate measures that school districts are taking as they deal with severe staff shortages. The Labor Department says in September, get this, 30,000 public school teachers resigned. We get more on America's school staffing crisis from CBS's Janet Shamlian. Let's light up, guys. So glad you're here. Gail Ortiz often supervises recess at Denver's Barnum Elementary School. It's not her only responsibility. I am principal, assistant principal, teacher, paraprofessional. I cover classes, lunch recess duty. I do everything that needs to be done. And in third grade, Grace Signs is leading class. I need you guys to write the day in your blue notebooks, please. She usually works in the district's main office. In the Denver district, Superintendent Alex Marrero tells us everyone is doing multiple jobs. It's in droves that we're having absences. The pool of substitutes has plummeted amid COVID fears from 1,200 to just 375. Not enough to cover those out due to stress and illness. It's not just here in Denver. Burnout is fueling shortages of teachers and staff, like bus drivers and cafeteria workers, in schools all across the country. Principal Joseph Uwe vacuums his Las Vegas elementary because he's short on cleaning staff. He's also teaching. Yes. On top of the tens. On top of the tens column, right? Mentally, physically, emotionally, uh, it's draining. Good morning. The upcoming Christmas holiday will offer a few days rest, but it's simple math. Most of the academic year is still ahead. How are you going to make it through the rest of the school year? We're going to do what we have to do. We have to put our students first. Say good morning. Good morning. Disrupting the return to normal. Shortages that will likely outlast the pandemic. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Denver.